The trucks came down the road uh, about six in a line and uh, about I would say three or four hundred yards past uh, our camp uh, there was a whole bunch of gunfire. There was a couple of Taliban on the bikes and they had uh, open fire and lit up the convoy of gravel trucks that were civilian. The individual that got killed that day was the contract that we had hired. We put him in a body bag. Talk about an intense moment and, uh, and wondering personally what the rest of the tour is going to be like after the third day on the job that happens. I would think for anybody hard to get over. I knew it was going to be probably pretty hectic and pretty dangerous, but uh, we're soldiers, we do what we do. The purpose and the goal was to try to revitalize uh, parts of Afghanistan uh, and do a road project uh, that would provide funding for uh, individual Afghanistan people and try to better their lifestyle and, and then be proud of what they accomplished by building this road. The hardest things was the checkpoints. So every morning the workers, they showed up at, uh, on site at a certain time. So uh, you have to check these workers down and pat them down. Like say one of them had an ID strapped to them. It was gonna happen there at that checkpoint. So I, I pushed it away. I pushed it down deep inside. And, uh, but I knew that I was gonna have issues. So I started drawing out parts to build a, a motorcycle. Uh, because I work with my hands, I like to, and I'm a motorcyclist, and, and that's how actually the parts on the bike came to life. Is they all reflect something I went through, uh, and all the adversity that I that I was faced with on that tour. Uh, you know, that's probably the most trying time of my life, so got back home, everything was quiet. It's hard for family to adjust when you don't say nothing. Uh, obviously drinking is an issue, right? So you start to drink too much. I can tell you one thing I absolutely did is I got on my bike and uh, drove way too fast. So I, I soon realized that I have a family and I still have a job to go back to and I want to live. So uh, I dug out the drawings that I made for the bike and I decided that I'm gonna use uh, all the frustration that happened uh, that I gathered up over there and all the anxiety and all the adversity I went through, uh, but also uh, a lot of the accomplishment. The headlight and speedometer assembly is made an uh, exact replica of my, uh, my 300 Winchester mag scope. The risers that hold the handlebars are exact replicas of our C7 magazines that go into our weapon. There's uh, the clutch and brake lever are shaped in the form of uh, brass knuckles. So the bike, yeah, some days I get on it and uh, the reflection of Afghanistan is, comes to the forefront. And those are the days I usually turn the bike around and park it. But there's other days where I get on that bike and, uh, and I've won. You know, I've accomplished uh, so much to overcome what's happened over there. I used it as a tool to, to get better, to, to take all that mental health issues and cast them away. Post-traumatic stress uh, disorder, there's a lot of dark days and there's always a light. You just gotta find out where the light is, right? And then if I can, if I can talk to somebody about something and it happens to be the bike that starts a conversation and I provide them with a little bit of inspiration and I provide them with a little bit of light, uh, then I think I've done, you know, myself and the bike have done justice to, to why I built it.